I want you to start with Jamshedpur. What was it like growing up in Jamshedpur uh, in a simple Tambram family eating vegetarian food? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to jump right into it. I think uh, I've had the best childhood that anybody can imagine having. I grew up in a small town called Jamshedpur, Tata Nagar at that point of time. And it was a small town. And I think it was such a small town and so impactful that I've always carried that small town boy attitude with me uh, till date. And it served me well. Mm. Um, being a small town boy means that, you know, you're more aware of everybody around you. Unlike a big metropolis, uh, you know, you have to be involved with your neighbor's lives. You have to be involved with your, with your friend's lives to an extent that today it seems almost interference. But at that time, it was considered caring. And when you're in a small town, one of the things that you become part of is nature, is the, the geography of the place, the flora and the fauna becomes part of your upbringing. Um, you know, the, the, you know the, the years of wiring and uh, conditioning that you get in a place like that, if you spend, especially I spent 18, 20 years there, you learn to respect or disrespect uh, things depending on how uh, the people around you reacted to it. And thankfully for me, uh, the Tatas ran the city and from very earlier on in my life, I, rem I remember the importance of them trying to say the importance of greenery. You know, they would insist on planting trees because it was a steel city. It was a city that was very, um, you know, alluvial soil. So uh, we had the best soil, but it was still an iron ore and steel and rustic sort of a city. And they intended to keep it green. So I remember the Jubilee parks, which we used to have, which are huge botanical parks that we used to roam around, took that for granted. Mm. And uh, most importantly, um, I mean, anybody from Jamshedpur will tell you, we used to wake up with the sound of vacuum cleaners on the road, you know, uh, at that time, uh, in early 80s, um, you know, uh, we actually had vacuum cleaners that would clean the road. And I used to think that's how the rest of the world is before I traveled. It's only when I left Jamshedpur. All the rest of the countries. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, the rest of the world, forget about the country, the rest of the world, I used to think. Uh, and then it's only when I left Jamshedpur, uh, you know, on trips to South India and other parts of, uh, you know, vacation that my parents are very kind enough to take us and privileged enough. I realized, my God, I'm living in an extremely privileged place because the sanitation, the, the town planning, everything was so different compared to Jamshedpur. I don't know if you know, but it's uh, one of the first planned cities of yes. the country. So the like main Chandigarh. roads, like Chandigarh. Chandigarh and Jamshedpur, yeah. Okay. 